let me sum this up. I got nothing against Stevie or Bubba and uh, Devon. Devon, great guys, right? Love them. They were good back at ECW in, in the early years, right? I'm going to say this. But here's the bottom line. You can say you're the greatest when you've won the WWE Championship so many times or the TNA Championships. But come in my shoes where you've won 14 different world championships. Now I'm talking about Australia, Mexico, six different Japanese company belts, all, you know, AWA, NWA, WCW, WWF, WWE. Right there you got 12 championships. And not only you're going down to Portland, where Don Owens winning those Portland titles, and then going to uh, Mexico City, winning the Mexican belts with Kensi Sasaki. I've been a part of 14 different belts. Even Hawk and I have been at least 10 or 12 titles, different titles. The only team ever to take the international belts out of Japan and defend them against the AWA, the N they, uh, uh, w uh, NWA, AWA, and not WWF, but those titles and the WCW titles and made the international belts famous. They ain't done that. And I'm not going to get the Dudleys, right. but for people that let's, let's be real. And let's be real to all the fans out there. You got to be real when it's time to be real and be honest. Listen, Hulk Hogan was the greatest single thing that ever happened in this wrestling business, and I'll be the first one to say it. When something's true, you got to say it. The best entertainer ever to come out of this business is The Rock. Number one best entertaining guy ever has set the wrestling standard that nobody will ever match. The guy did like a $170 million profit this year. No wrestler will ever do that ever in movies. I'm the first one to say it. So when the Dudley's bellies come out here and say that kind of crap, they need to really think about it before they open up their mouth and say, okay, did we really do anything that was better than the real warriors? The answer is simple, no. Plain and simple. Are they great? Yeah, they're great. But they're not the road warriors. They're not going to go down in history as a legendary status. If there could be a, a second team, in your opinion, like in your opinion, who would be uh, your favorite tag team to have watched, for instance, throughout the years? Would the Steiners be up there? Steiners are right up there. Yeah. Steiners are up there. Who also are? There's a lot of bro. There's a lot of un, really not really well tag teams. Okay, okay. The Horsemen, phenomenal. Tully Blanchard, Arn Anderson, two great. They helped Hawk on IL, crazy. Midnight Express, the Rock and Roll Express, so underrated as far as tag teams go. Like, bro, you remember at the end of the first Cold War when they put Ivan and Nikita Koloff against Hawk and I in the Great American Bash, and we both were heels that turned us red, white, and blue USA and came out with the American flag on a motorcycle. Are you kidding me? Yeah. The Russians against the American badasses. Turned a stone cold baby face. You know, good guys. And from then on, we never looked back. You know, there were some great teams. Crusher Khrushchev by Barry Darso, who was smashed, was Crusher Khrushchev and Nikita Koloff. Two big Russian boys that we fought. The Hart Foundation. You know, I mean, come on. We wrestled some monster teams the Briscoes, the, the Funks. You know, the funks let us beat us up all over Japan, which helped us in Japan. So, I mean, I think we're going to go down in history. There's a lot of great teams, but I think the Steiners probably have got to be at the top of that tier. 